Hello, I'm Barbara Heiberg. Today I'm going to prepare duck breasts seasoned with lavender, fennel, black pepper, and sea salt. And then later we'll do a wine reduction to go with it. First thing you need to do is to score the duck. And the reason for that is that we want to render the fat so that it's not greasy. Now this is a dish that is quite elegant and it can be served at a dinner party or for a romantic dinner for two. But it's simple enough that you could serve it to your family on a weeknight for dinner. Now to score the duck we're just going to take the knife and we're going to gently cut through the fat without cutting through into the meat. Now after we score it we're going to season it. Now we're going to take the lavender and it's two tablespoons of lavender, two tablespoons of fennel, one tablespoon of sea salt, and a half a tablespoon, which is one and a half teaspoons, of black pepper. And we're going to put it in a mortar and pestle. And the reason we're going to do this is that we want to crush it a little bit so that we can meld the flavors together and re release the flavors. Now if you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can put it in a bowl and use the back of a spoon because we don't want to grind it up so it's all little teeny pieces. We just want to blend it together and release the flavors. You can also put it in a coffee grinder. Now, then we're going to take this and we're going to rub both sides of the duck. Now I've just prepared two of them because I've already prepared the other four and I'm going to add these in with the other four and I'm going to put them in fat side down and then we're going to cover them and we're going to put them in the refrigerator for an hour to overnight, no more than 24 hours, just so that all the flavors blend together. Now it's been about two to three hours, maybe two hours, that we've marinated this duck, which really is enough. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a tablespoon of olive oil in our heated pan. Now I'm using an electric fry pan, but you can do this on the stove just as well. But be careful on the stove because the temperature tends to get a little hotter there. You can't control it as well, and you don't want to burn the duck. To our olive oil, I'm going to add one clove of minced garlic. There we go. And I'm just going to brown this lightly. And the reason we didn't add the garlic to the other seasonings and rub it on the duck is that I don't want the flavor of the duck to be too garlicky. We're going to add our marinated duck breast and we're going to do it fat side down because we want to render the fat out of the duck so that it doesn't become greasy. Now this should take about three minutes to render the fat out of the duck. Okay, now the, uh, the fat is just starting to render out and it's probably a good time to take it out. And we're we're going to take it out and then we're going to drain the fat out of the pan. Now I'm going to wipe out the pan because as you cook it more, some more of the fat will render out and I don't want it to be too greasy. So we'll just start out with a fairly clean pan. Now I'm going to put the breast back in, fat side down again. And we're going to cook it about another three to four minutes on the fat side. All right, now that it's, it's been about another three minutes and it's slightly brown on the other side, we're going to turn the breasts over. Mm, smells great. I know you can't smell it on the video, but if you make it yourself, you'll be able to smell it and it's wonderful. Now, it's going to cook on the other side for about 
oh, 10, 15 minutes, probably closer to 15 minutes, till it reaches about 125 degrees on your thermometer. Perfect. Now we're going to remove the duck breast to a plate. And I'm going to cover them with foil. And I'm going to let them sit while we make our sauce. And while they're sitting, they will continue to cook a little bit. We don't want to clean the pan. We want the juices and the grease that's in the pan in our sauce. And this is a wine reduction. First of all, I'm going to put, I know it seems silly, but I'm going to put some more oil in the pan. And add a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon. Then I'm going to add a minced clove of garlic. I'm going to brown that lightly, stirring in all the little bits and pieces that are in the pan. And then to this we're going to add four cups of red wine. Now you can use whatever red wine you want. I'm using a Pinot Noir. You can use a Mer Merlot, a Cabernet, uh, whatever you want. Um, my feeling is the better the wine, the better the sauce. A lot of people disagree with that and think you can use any old cheap wine, and that's your call. Now we're going to cook this for about 10 minutes. Oh, I'm also going to add a little sugar to it. I'm going to stir the sugar into it. It's just so it will dissolve. Let it cook for about 10 minutes. At this point, we're going to add the balsamic cream. We've been boiling this for about 10 minutes so that we could boil off some of the alcohol that's in it. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but unfortunately, that happens when you boil wine. At this point, we're going to add the balsamic cream. And balsamic cream is nothing but reduced balsamic vinegar. You can either do it yourself or you can buy it at your local grocery store. This is about half a cup of balsamic cream. And we're going to stir it in. It will start getting a little bit thick just because of the balsamic cream. And we stir it and this, we're going to boil it till it reduces to about half, which probably take about 10 or 15 minutes. Now our wine is reduced to about half at this point. And we're going to season it with a little salt and pepper to taste. I like to use sea salt because it gives a better flavor. And some freshly ground pepper. Give it a stir. Turn off our heat. And we're going to strain this to re to remove any bits of garlic or fat that remain. Now that we've made the wine reduction and the duck breasts have rested for a while, I'm going to take them and slice them. But before we do that, we don't want to lose any of this wonderful juice that we have that's come out of the duck while it's been resting. So I'm going to pour it into the wine reduction. That'll add a little more dimension to the wine. Give it a little stir. Oh, perfect. Now, to slice the duck, we're going to slice it in an angle in long slices, like this. I'm going to take our plate, I'm going to arrange the slices, slightly overlapping each other. Gives a nice little presentation. And you can either take the wine reduction and serve it on the side, but I like to actually pour it right over the duck. There you go. Enjoy your duck.